Hello and welcome to an original We Try This production. Today I'll be teaching you how to create money in Game Maker. This can be done in Game Maker Lite or Pro, it doesn't matter. But we'll be creating money and currency. This is the first part that teaches you how to make money, how to add money when um, the player touches a coin. And then my next tutorial after this, the sequel, will cover using the money to purchase an item from an item shop. So you want to watch that tutorial. So it, in this, we'll be using a black a player and we'll be using a coin. But we also will need a control object to have to manage the money. So object, create object. Call obj underscore money. Add an event. Create. Execute code. It's really short. Global dot money equals ten thousand. So ten thousand. I want to be rich. So I'm starting off with ten thousand dollars. This make sure it's global, or else some actions might not work. So make sure it's global. And we're going to tell it to draw the money also as well. So we want to tell it to draw the money, the value of the money at all times, so that the player knows how much money they have. So add event, draw, control, execute code. So I'm going to go to draw underscore text. You want to set the value to view underscore x view plus 120. You can adjust 120 to your your x and y coordinates. Comma view underscore y view plus 30. These are my coordinates. Make sure view underscore x view is there. Because if you have per se a side scrolling game, make sure view underscore x view and view underscore y view is here. It's helpful to just have them anyway, so they follow the view. So if you have a side-scrolling game, you definitely want U underscore X and U underscore Y Just put another comma, quotation marks, money sign, quotation marks. So it'll, draw it, so it'll show that we're referring to money instead of just a random number. Then we'll put a plus, plus, string, global dot money so plus so you got the money sign quotation marks plus string open parentheses global dot money closing parentheses another closing parentheses I put a semicolon at it so this is drawing money on string. No errors. Perfect. Now, uh, don't give it a sprite because it's a control object. Now, to create a coin object, what you would want to do, hold on. You want to go to your coin object if you have one. Add an event. Collision with the player. Let's use code for this. Destroy instance. Apply to self. So it'll destroy the coin. And set variable global dot money one thousand relative. So so the coin is worth one thousand dollars. So if I touch it, I'll get one thousand dollars. So since I start off with ten thousand, I'll have ten thousand and one. Eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. Yes. Solid. Give it a coin sprite. Now let me show you what it looks like. Make sure the money, make sure the, um, make sure the control object is present in the room. Make sure the control object is present in the room. So let's put a coin here, coin here, coin here. And make sure the control object is in the room. So it's right here. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. Hold on. Okay, so here it is. I have all my objects here. I have the coins over there. Maybe I should have drawn the money a little closer to the left. Maybe 120 wasn't a good idea, but whatever. So I have $10,000 right here. When I touch it, so when I touch the money object, I have 11000 Touch it again. Hold on, wait. 11000 12000 13,000. Oh, just in case I forgot to mention, 
Make sure your money object is set to persistent, just in case I forgot to mention, so hold on. I'm not sure. I might put an annotation up to remind myself. Make sure it's set to persistent, the money object. I almost forgot about that. So the controller object for the money, set to persistent. I'll put an annotation up later so you can just ignore that. So in any case, this has been an original. We try this production. Hope you enjoyed. Don't quit. Oh, oh all right, guys. Um, while working on while working on my next tutorial, I kind of discovered a bug. So what you want to do to avoid this bug, it's if you have one room. Cause let's say for example that my your money object is in one room, in the first room. If you go to another room, your money would reset back to its original value. So since my original value was ten thousand, let's say I bought something for five thousand and I have five thousand left. If I go to another room, it would reset back to 10,000. So as you can see here, my character select screen, you guys probably haven't seen this yet, but I have a money object in this room. This money object is persistent, like I told you guys to make it. Persistent. So this is the money object right here, the money controller. What you want to do is you want to leave, create only one money object and put it in the first room. So this is my money object. Make sure it's in the first room in your game. So in the first room is the character select screen. Make sure it's not in any other room. So if it's in any other room, take it out. And make sure it's not in that room anymore. Otherwise, your game will reset the money value every time back to its original value. So make sure the money object is in the first room, the very first room, Make sure the money object is there, which is the character select screen. Make sure it's in that one op room, and that the money object is set to persistent. Persistent. Okay. Well, that concludes the tutorial. For the real this time.